Black History Month and the arts are alive and colorful and inspirational. Tonight we find our Tar Heel traveler in Raleigh. Scott Mason visits the Triangle Cultural Art Gallery. She's African American, but she's everybody's grandma. The texture in the skin, that look she has. That look, and his look, and their looks, and the look of all this art that may look different, or maybe the same. They walk in and all of a sudden they're being represented. They're seeing people that look like them on the walls. They of another race. When you're not used to that, it's kind of like a culture shock. It's the Triangle Cultural Art Gallery in Raleigh. Hopefully when you come in, you'll see something you haven't seen before. And that can be revealing. And he took those images and silk screened them onto the surface. This is a young James Baldwin. The writer and his words. American history cannot be summed up in a paragraph. It's too complicated. The painting in itself is kind of complicated just because of all of the layers that he had to do. The multiple layers. You know, possibilities. Possibilities, but then again, he's grounded. Well, maybe he's about to take off. The meaning is in the mind of the beholder. Art is a way that we tell a story. We tell that we're here. More than two dozen artists tell their story here at the gallery. Artists from as far as Taiwan, Haiti. And as near as Durham and Raleigh. Share culture and history with the greater community. Do you have many white people come in? Yes. And do you feel like they appreciate the work? Yes, generally yes. Some of the gallery's work is by the gallery's executive director. I'm always wanting to tell the quiet, the beautiful, the soft stories. And so often we don't get to see narratives with black men with a soft touch. His painting is called This Life Matters. Not only this life matters, but the future of America. America in all its color. His use of color is just striking. The work might be abstract or realistic. The conversation, the moment frozen in mid-conversation. The work that I do, I push against the silence. You know, they're in movement, but their environment is very still. That's the thing about art is it's really history you're creating. Creating history displaying culture. Being an African-American male, there's lots of things to find wrong, but I choose to find the things that are right. The universal things that are beautiful, that beautiful constellation of culture. I know that there's a bright future in, involved. This month at the gallery is an exhibition called Keeping the Faith, featuring paintings that tell a story of Christian love, joy, and redemption. The paintings are by the gallery director, Jason Franklin.